Now, do sodas float or sink? Now, welcome to another Science Girls Home Lab where I get to show you science activities that you can do at home with the items you might already have. Now, you are going to need many different kinds of sodas and something to hold a lot of water. Now I am outside because we need to fill our buckets with water. Have patience, science girl. But I can't. Yes, you can. Oh, those birds are fighting. Mm. I did it. Okay, okay, okay. Eh. Now all that we have to do next is to take one of our sodas and put it in the water and see if it floats or sinks. Make sure to set it in the water sideways so that the little dent in the bottom doesn't hold an air bubble and makes it float when wind helps us make sure that there's going to be no bubble at the bottom of our soda here. Three, two, one. <gasps> Dude. The best way to test an experiment is to try it multiple times with different things to see if it's consistent. sugar. One of the ones that have sunk, it's an original. There's no diet on this soda. The sodas which are diet are the ones that are floating and the ones who are the regular flavors have sunk to the bottom. What is the difference between diet soda and an original soda? Sugar! The ones who have sunk are the regular sodas, which means they have more sugar than the ones who are diet. The regular sodas have more sugar. This makes it more dense than the water around it, so it sinks. Since there's not as much sweetener in the diet ones, there's not as much sugar, and so it's about the same density as the water around it, so it floats. Now you may be wondering why I had so many sodas and so many multiples of them just in case. Well, take a look at this. This is an original soda, which means it has tons of sugar. So from what we have learned, we should know that they actually sink. Take a look. It floated to the top. Well, you, if you do this on your own, you might find that some of the original ones float. And my hypothesis is, is that some of the regular sodas have more air in them. And if something has air in it, it's more likely to float. Even just the smallest variation between a soda with a little bit of air and a little bit of more air could be the difference between it floating and sinking. Again, this is a hypothesis, something that I have made an educated guess on. But that's why you need multiple tests, because you might find that it's not always consistent. The ones with sugar might actually float. I hope you learned something new today, a little bit about density. And also to think about how much sugar is in your sodas. Yes. Now this soda says that it has 40 grams of sugar in it. So I am actually going to measure out 40 grams of sugar and see how much weight we are adding to this can that actually made it sink. 41. Oh, it's a little bit over. Take a pinchy. Aha, there we go. 40 grams of sugar. That is a ton. 
This way is what's making our original sodas sink to the bottom of the container versus having no sugar where the sodas can actually float. Go be awesome. Bye-bye, guys. No taste testing.